all my vanity Trying to ignite my work Restore my dignity I know I'm fine at death again Where all my beauty's living in Ignore my reflection passing by Cause I will feel it deep inside My name is Stacy Pearsall and I'm here with Mark Subin of Nikon Professional Services, and he and I have been discussing a Nikon setting called Picture Control. Mark, can you tell me about that a little more? Uh, yes. Uh, in the current level of Nikon cameras, you have a utility called Picture Control, and it allows you to create the look and feel for your pictures. Uh, and it's kind of like, think of it as like Photoshop in the camera. If you're finding yourself sharpening the pictures or doing contrast adjustments or even saturation or even shooting black and white, uh, you can actually flavor your pictures before you go on your shoots, kind of like picking your film. But in a RAW file, um, you can save that picture control and use it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Now, the neat thing about that is that it is very um, usable and you can edit it. Now, with the JPEGs and the movie files, they are flat. They mm -hmm. are fixed. So it's burned into the file. If you pick a picture control you don't like, you're kind of stuck with yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I set up my lights for um, our little demo today, and I took a picture of Emily Osborne, who's my intern. She was really great. <laughs> and so we, we're gonna, you're, you said we're gonna take this picture and create a signature look off of it. Correct, correct. So what we're gonna do is we're, I'm using Nikon View to view the pictures. With every Nikon, you get Nikon View, or the current version of Nikon View 2, which you can download. But inside the menus is hidden a nice little utility called Picture Control Utility. So here we're going to go and, and look at a picture and, and pick one that you think we might want to edit for that look. So I, I kind of like this one with the, with the hair flip and everything going on here. So we go up to the file menu, launch picture control utility, and we get a window that will take that selected photo from Nikon view and it will load it into a preview window. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the top left here, we have picture controls that are standard in the camera. For example, in your Nikon camera, you can go through the menus for picture control and pick a standard look. You can pick a neutral, vivid, and a monochrome. And if you notice down here, the preview kind of gives us of what that picture would look like if we had had this set in the camera prior to the shoot. Mm -hmm. So we have the ability to change the picture control from what the camera selected to something else. While we're here, we also have the ability to actually tune a picture control, maybe change its look. It's almost like going into Photoshop. If we had opened this picture in Photoshop, now there are limited tools here, but these are very similar to what you would find in Photoshop. For example, we'll go to monochrome, and let's just say for some reason I want to bump my sharpening because I like more sharpening in my black and whites. I can bump my sharpening here. Uh, you can use uh, filters, because you can see here, these are all selectable items that come available in the menu of the camera. Now what is not in the menu of the camera is something called Use Custom Curves. Custom Curves, uh, when that box is checked, you can now come down here and, just like in Photoshop, use Curves mm -hmm. or use Levels. So as you can see, you can create this blown out look in this case, kind of a very fashion photography look. So what's the next step if we want to create our own signature look? Let, should we do that for this this particular shoot? Oh, uh, we can. Um, you said that you wanted to do a video where you had kind of a, a stylistic look. You said you didn't want to spend a lot of time in, in the photo editing or even a video editor to stylize the stills and the video. So we can actually do that prior to the shoot. It would be the same as going to our our film supplier if we were shooting motion picture film and mm -hmm. picking a film with a certain characteristics and actually shooting it that way mm -hmm. or even processing it different. Okay. I think it I think it would be interesting to do something sort of high contrast and something in the, the blue family. So. I think what we can do here is kind of a, do a look that has some kind of overtones of color. So we can go in here and pick blue. Okay, cool. And I think we have some degree of control, but although I would say that we could probably play with this a little bit and if I play with the curves you can see we can start to create kind of a muted blue here. Mm. That's kind of nice right there. I'm kind of digging that, mm -hmm. yeah. And we can actually increase the, I think the amount that we do. That might be too much. Okay. Yeah. 
I think the contrast is good. Is there any way to lift the midtones or is Sure, we have curve controls so we could actually go in here and in the curves and, and pull the contrast up on the curve here to bring up the shadow detail. So as you can see we have more shadow detail. We could also make this a little more brighter on the upper end as well so it has a little bit more, mm. more washed out. But we lose a little bit of detail here so you just like on curves you can cap where the whites will probably pull out. That's good. Yep. Uh, we can save this setting, which when we save this setting, we're actually saving it local to our computer so we can uh, recall it later. So I'll just put this on my desktop for now, and we'll call this Blues. Okay, so we end up with a little file here on our desktop. That's just so Picture Control can recall this panel. Okay. In order to use this in the camera, we do have to load a, um, a card in our card reader. And I'm going to create a new look based on this one, and we can call this the blues. So we're basically saving these settings. So as you can see, we have the blues, we have our curves, we have all the neat little things that we played with with the look that we have. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can now export this. And when we export this, it is uh, I do have a card in the card reader at the moment, so you do have to have a card in the card reader. And what this will do is in uh, this will show up in the banks of the camera. You can see you have several banks in the camera that you can save a picture control. So we'll put it in the first bank. And if I open up my memory card, I'll show you that you get a little Nikon folder. And in that little Nikon folder, you get a custom PC. And this is the actual picture control we created. Cool. So when we go load this in the camera, um, you will actually be able to pick this and select it as the picture control for this look. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the card with the picture control custom setting that Mark and I have created into my camera. Go into the menu under the camera and then set picture control. I can go under that to the manage picture control and then scroll down to load and save and then copy to camera. And there you can see the blues. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm just gonna put it there and call it the blues, okay. Then I'm gonna go back to set picture control, scroll down to the blues and click okay. So now if I go into live view, you can see that it's got a blue hue. And that's it. We're going to go shoot. Dignity. I know I'll find that depth again Where all my 